it back. Hi, I'm Lauren Chaddy. Welcome to the Eagle Bank Bowl Preview on September 27th. Wake Forest and Navy met up in Winston-Salem with the midshipmen emerging the big winners 24 to 17. This time around, RFK Stadium is the location for the rematch, which isn't far from the Naval Academy in Annapolis. It may be considered a neutral site, but the midshipmen will basically have a home game this time around. We don't get the chance to preview a bowl rematch, so let's take a look at what happened the last time these two teams met just under three months ago. Wake Forest was riding high on a three-game win streak, and in the top 25, they knew about Navy's option offense and plan to run the ball, but Navy was not intimidated. They weren't scared and went ahead with the plan anyway. The midshipmen rushed for 292 yards. Senior Eric Katani ran for 175 by himself. The Deeks found themselves down 17 to nothing at the half and were able to get within a touchdown in the third quarter. But Navy put the game all but out of reach with a score in the fourth quarter. If Wake Forest hopes to get revenge, it's going to need to get a better day out of Riley Skinner. His one touchdown, four pick performance was one to forget. DJ Bolden had a great day, eight catches, 116 yards, another day like that will give Wake a shot. For more on the inaugural Eagle Bank Bowl, we bring in Dennis Dodd, our college football columnist. Dennis, we have a bowl rematch. Don't you love it? Well, it's only fitting in this year where there's an economic <laughs> downturn. One of the new bowls added this year is sponsored by a bank uh, in, in a rematch, no less. So uh, I guess we just have to go from here. In 2006, Dennis, Wake Forest shocked the college football world, going from a preseason pick to be last in the ACC to conference champions. Two years later, they are in the Eagle Bank Bowl, obviously not where they hope to be, but is this what was expected out of them? Uh, I, about where they thought they'd be. I'm sure the loss to Navy was disappointing, but these two teams are pretty much, uh, pretty much even. I mean, they both try to get by on deception with their offenses. Their defenses are undersized. Um, and I'm sure Wake, you know, Doing what they did two years ago, this sticks with them that they lost the Navy at home. Wake, believe it or not, back on September 26, 27th, excuse me, was ranked. Um, and you mentioned Riley Skinner's four interceptions. He went on and, and did well from there. I think the thing you have to watch in this game is, is Navy's defense has gotten a lot better. They held uh, the Demon Deacons to only 43 yards rushing that day and shut out their last two opponents by a combined score of 50 to nothing. As for the matchup in D.C., though, you have the revenge factor, Dennis, going on here. Is that enough for Wake to get the win? Uh, I don't know if it's enough. I, I, you know, as, as we talk about uh, Georgia Tech um, throughout the season, I think it's hard to get ready for this uh, triple option offense. Now, is Wake a better team? Probably has more talent. They have the Butkus Award winner and linebacker Aaron Curry, who's very, very good along the line of scrimmage. But I still think it's hard. This Navy triple option is humming as well as it did at any time under Paul Johnson. They've got four runners, four tailbacks that have, uh, that have run for at least 500 yards. So you, so you can't just stop one guy. Dennis Dodd, our college football columnist, thank you so much for your time. Thanks, Lauren. And thank you for your time. Keep it locked right here on CBSSports.com. I'm Lauren Tahati.